Hey, what's going on, guys? So um, today what I want to talk to you guys about, uh, well, you know, I did the last budget. And uh, the budget that I did was pretty much, you know, kind of showing you guys, you know, you know what I was spending here in uh, Thailand. And after I put that video out, you know, I got quite a few comments back. And, um, you know, there was one that particularly um, kind of stuck with me. And basically, it's, it's the whole retirement in uh, Thailand visa. So what I want to kind of do today is just, and what they asked me to do is, could I just give an example of a budget, you know, between $1,800 and, um, you know, $2,000 a month. And I know some people are sitting there saying, okay, $1,800, $2,000, big deal, you know, a couple of dollars, you could just do it for $2,000. Well, I mean, $1,800 and, and $2,000 can be a big deal in Thailand, especially, um, you know, with the affordability here. So. What I want to do today is kind of focus on both of those budgets, and I'll put a chart up behind me, but I want to focus on both of those budgets, the $1,800 and the $2,000. And again, guys, this is, you know, it's all subjective when you, when you talk about budgets. We all know that. Because what works for one person, you can't fit it into a puzzle exactly for someone else. So what I kind of want to focus on, um, the reoccurring uh, expenses. You know, we talk about rent, we talk about electricity, and I will get a little bit finite, but not too much, you know, because I don't want to get too much in the weeds because, again, you know, there's going to be costs that are going to come up that, that even I can't predict, or there's going to be uh, initial cost, um, you know, that I, I kind of call common sense, but um, there's still initial cost. So anyway, let me go ahead and get started so we don't draw this out. I want to get straight to the point. Um, again, I got the chart up behind me, your $1,800 budget and your $2,000 budget. So the first thing that I want to tackle is the rent, guys. So what I tried to do, and I know some people out there, they'll, again, they'll say, oh, well, you, you know, you can get it cheaper than that. What I'm focusing on is Bangkok. And yes, you can get it cheaper than, I want you to be happy with, you know, your life, or as happy as you can be with your life here in Thailand. You know, not just scraping by, but I want you to be comfortable. So the two price ranges that I looked at are for 350 and for 400. And what I'll do guys in the comments, I'll put a link for um, some housing websites here that you can actually go to yourself and kind of look around because you may see something and say, well, that's not really my style or, you know, I think I could do a little bit better than that. So again, the rent I'm looking at, uh, 350 and uh, a $400 range, and you can kind of see where those where those lie out at. Um, for the utilities, guys, I looked at about again a one bedroom apartment. I'm looking at about 65 to 67. And when I say utilities, this is going to account for your electricity, which is going to be your biggest expense in your apartment. Uh, and then the other is going to be uh, water. Man, there's a lot of things flying around, guys. But I promise you. Raw and uncut, we're gonna get through this. All right, so again, with the utilities, I'm looking at about 65 for 1,800 and about $67 for, uh, you know, the $2,000 budget. The next thing I wanna go over are groceries. And I put groceries, household, uh, and clothing, guys, and I allocate $100 on this. And I know some people say, oh, that's not enough. You know, I'm gonna buy, you're not gonna buy clothes every month, all right? And as we go through this budget, I think you'll kind of see where I'm going with this. Although I give you $100, you may not use $100 that month, that month, which means what? Which means now for that month, you can allocate that to something else. So I think the, the light bulb's coming on a little bit to kind of see where I'm getting with this. All right. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is internet. We know we can't do anything without the internet. So your basic internet is about $14. And, and when I say basic, guys, I'm saying basic in comparison to what I was paying in the States because that I paid $14 for my internet and guys, I'm telling you, I never have an issue. I never have an issue with speed. I never have an issue with me running out of, of internet. It's, I mean, it's unlimited and it's super fast, guys. Trust me, you'll be able to get by with this. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is your cell phone. 
um, $14, guys. You can get you a plan for $14 that gives you your data, that gives you the speed you need. And trust me, guys, I'm out there shooting um, all the time. I'm out there using data all the time. Of course, you know, uh, gathering up my content and then sometimes editing things right there on the fly. But the greatest thing about Thailand, guys, um, I use um, um, AIS on my phone service. And guys, let me tell you something. It is incredible because when you go out to like the malls the restaurant AIS is there I mean they have their network all over the city so that means I'm not even using my data uh, most of the time <clears throat> excuse me that I'm paying for directly I'm on there I'm on their website so that means I'm getting my uh, 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 same speed I'm not spending anything and like I said guys you won't run out trust me trust me on that one uh, the next thing I want to talk about is dining out now when I say dining out guys because a lot of people let's face it a lot of people aren't cooking myself I mean don't get me wrong I love to cook uh, in fact I, I mentioned this before I'm probably gonna have one episode where I'm gonna you know try to get with someone local and do some Thai dishes and kind of show you guys you know and, and how easy to be so that way you know if you do come over here you can always revert back to that to that video and maybe do a, a, a pad kapow okay but anyway when I say dining dining out guys what I'm allocating is about oh five dollars and thirty three cent um, um, per meal now I know some of you are sitting there in in the States or, or, or Europe saying man no way again guys this is Thailand all right and when I talk about these things in fact I'm gonna show you guys some of the meals that I get for example this is what I got for breakfast uh, right here. So this breakfast, guys, cost me. Um, let me see what what I pay for my breakfast. My breakfast cost me exactly five dollars. But guys, let me tell you what I got for breakfast. All right, my breakfast included waffles. It included uh, a fried egg. It included roti, uh, which is like a, a bread. I guess is the way to to best explain it. But trust me, you'll love it. It's both savory and sweet. And with that roti, they give me a condensed a condensed milk dipping sauce. It's a sweet sauce. Um, also got chicken uh, sausage with that. Uh, as you can see, my medium mocha iced coffee came with that. And of course, I got water on the side. And guys, when I tell you that I was stuffed, I was stuffed. And that's, you know, that's, you can get breakfast cheaper than that, but that was my like, you know, my, this is like my go-to spot that I go to. And maybe I'll do a segment on that where I kind of show you this uh, particular um, coffee chain. But um, real, real great, real great place, guys. Um, and then so far as lunch, now for my lunch, as you can see, I, I, I bought a, a Tom Yam fried rice with chicken. Uh, I get it spicy, guys. The spicier for me, the better. You know, if I, my mouth isn't on fire, then it's not spicy enough. But so I got the, the Tom Yam spicy rice with chicken. Um, I got my veggies. I always got to have my roughage, guys. I got a Diet Coke. Um, I also got um, uh, this um, lemon uh, cheesecake, you know, which, man, and I got this at 7-Eleven, and guys, let me tell you, <laughs> when I tell you it is great, and it's not like real rich, it's not that sweet, it's just the right amount of sweetness, um, and I also, also have my water on the side. Oh, and guys, when I finish this, I still had half of the Tom Yam and chicken rice left over, so basically that's another, that's a bonus meal for me, or a snack for later. But, uh, and that's what I'm talking about. And for that one, guys, that lunch cost me $3.34. So you see where I'm going, going with this when I talk about your groceries, if you're not getting groceries or if you're not buying clothing, now you got an, a little bit more to work with on your diet to maybe boost it up a little bit and maybe do something special where you may, you know, go to a, a, a nice, you know, uh, 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 westernized restaurant that that uh, that that's a little bit more moderate uh, in your cost. All right. The next thing, guys, I want to talk about is the entertainment. So I booked a hundred a uh, hundred dollars for the eighteen hundred dollar budget, and a hundred and I think um, twenty five for the you know the two thousand dollar budget. And that's why I talk about guys when things come in uh, come into play about you know if you make a little bit extra that money can go a long way, all right? And again, with entertainment, it's all about shuffling those dollars. If you're not using that that month or all of it, and just because you budget it, guys, doesn't mean you have to use it. Because the way I think about it is like this. 
If I'm not using something, I can't allocate it to something else if I want to, or I can carry it over that next month and say, you know what, now this becomes a savings to me. So when I get ready to do my vacation, or if I want to do something extra on another night, I've got it, you know, the next month or something. So that's where I kind of, I, I'm kind of going with this. It's like, you, it's your budget, but just because it's there doesn't mean you have to spend all of it you know you may your electricity bill may come in a little bit less same thing guys roll it over to something else all right um now medical guys now i know some people are going to come back in the comment oh you that's too high what i'm basing this on is the retirement guys um you know the 50 plus retirement you have to be 50 years old to get a retirement visa here in thailand so i'm basing this off of that now when i talk about medical guys can you go cheap yeah you can go cheap but let me tell you something. And I gotta take my glasses off of this one, guys. When it comes to medical, medical is like, it's the biggest investment in yourself. I know this sounds like a cliche when I say this, health is wealth, but guys, listen to me. Do not skimp out on your medical. I'll say it again, do not skimp out on your medical. Guys, this is you. You rather have this security uh, policy, this assurance there for you in the event something happens. Let's face it, 50, 60, as we start getting older, guys, I mean, things do happen. It's like having a classic car. You know, it can look good on the outside, but it's at some point inevitable that things are gonna kinda, you know, you're gonna need a little bit of oil here, a little bit of oil there. So that's why I say with your medical guys, I don't care what anyone tells you over here. I don't care, listen to me, do not skimp out on your medical. I even budgeted you for savings. I would rather you spend more of your savings on your medical, making sure that you're covered, than skimping around. Because we know Murphy's Law, guys. And I, I don't know any other way to say it, but just feel the passion when I tell you this about your medical, guys. Your health is your wealth. You're the most important out of this whole adventure that you're going on, all right? Um, the next thing I want to talk about is your transportation. Now. For me guys, and I'm basing this kind of off of myself, and that's why when I did your housing, I wanted to put you near BTS, all right? And I'm gonna tell you why. Because now, that BTS, especially that main line, gets you just about anywhere you need to go in Bangkok. You know, whether you're going to Thong Lo, whether you're going to Nana, I don't care, whether you're going down to Samrang, it's all along that BTS line, it can get you anywhere. And then over to the MRTs, which is, uh, I call it your, your outlining transportation, your trains, your underground subways. Now that you're close to those, that can be your primary use. And guys, it's very inexpensive to ride on the BTS. You're gonna get there a lot faster than you would a taxi. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Now I know you're saying, well, what if I got my groceries? Guys, guess what? I got another bonus for you. <laughs> They've got Grab here, which costs little or nothing for them to deliver your groceries to you. So that one you don't have to worry about, all right? But again, guys, on your transportation, I would say 90% could be a BTS if you're on that, on that main line. And then the other could be maybe you know, hopping on, on, a, on a, a, a motorbike sometime, which is probably gonna cost you about 20 baht, depending where you're gonna go, you know. And then, you know, I'll reserve the taxis and even the Grab automobiles for just places I really can't get to, or unless you live a little bit further from the BTS and it's on a rainy day. But I do say that that, that budget amount should be, should be good for you guys. Um, the next, guys, is, is gonna be the visa. And what I want you to do is kind of put aside about $240 this is for your retirement visa. Because what this visa is gonna include is your multi-entry also. And guys, remember, this is a once a year uh, visa. So this, is, this cost is gonna be due annually. So when you pay that first cost, you see I went ahead and put the budget in there for $20 a month. That means every month, guys, go ahead and put that $20 away, all right, because that's what's going to get you for the next year so you're not scraping or, or trying to figure out where I'm going to get. You're going to have it anyway, but you get the point. You're already putting it aside. And this whole adventure, guys, is, is still thinking smart, still trying to you know move forward, get the best experience on, on, on this. So again, that's why I did your visa like that. Now, the second most important and I say second because if you don't have health, you don't have wealth, right? <laughs> so you gotta have your health in order to continue to make it well. So 
But this is the second thing important, guys, it's your savings. Now, in the States, we have this philosophy or this practice where, you know, the 10% rule, the 20% rule. Guys, I want to make sure you're saving at least 10% a month out of your budget, out of that 1800 okay? Or 20% out of that 1800 What you think you can do is what I want you to do, but what I would like for you to do is at least the 10%. Pay yourself first. Put that to the side. You don't have to touch it. Keep it for a rainy day, but put that to the side, guys. And if something does come up, you have it. You know, if emergency comes up, you know, you have it, all right? So pay yourself first. The next, guys, is travel. Now, I put 110 for the $1,800 uh, budget. And again, guys, that's where the difference comes to over here with those few dollars. You see where I'm going at with this? And then for the a uh, $2,000 budget, I put in 133. Now guys, that's a month, which means if you're going around doing things, you know, locally, you know, down to another city, then you've got that that's there. Or if you want to say, well, you know what, I'm only going to travel quarterly. So now you've got that times three plus, get where I'm going at, when I went back to the groceries and the entertainment, things that are left over, now you got more to spend on that vacation. So if you're doing your vacation quarterly, or if you want to do it uh, semi-annually, or you may want to do it once a year, I don't know, you know? So you at least have that for that. So guys, real quick, I just want to kind of show you um, what I was looking at. I know I'm going to get bombarded in the comments. And again, guys, again, this is subjective. Different people do different things. Your entertainment may be different from what my entertainment is. You know, I'm not out drinking, I'm not out at clubs. So if you do that, it's gonna be a lot more, guys. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta think about that, all right? So I just wanted to kinda, again, guys, just kinda give you a quick overview of that. I hope this helps you out. If you do have further questions, um, you know, let me know. Guys out there, if you got some ideas, suggestions, let me know. I'm all about put it out there the next time, you know. But I just wanted to say, don't beat me up too bad for the veterans that are here because what I want these guys, I want them to be comfortable when they come over here. I don't want them to just say, oh, I just have to eat this or I just have to uh, go here. No, you know, I want to give you a, 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 a level of comfortability that makes this whole adventure and this whole experience good for you guys. All right. So anyway, guys, hey, as always with the, oh, one other thing, guys, I want to say. There are tons of things to do over here in Thailand that don't even, that don't cost money. Look at some of my past videos. Um, you know, you have museums here, you have beautiful parks out here. And I mean, other places I, I haven't even touched the surface on yet, guys, and I'm looking to get out and do. You have things that you can do that are very inexpensive, you know, uh, out here. So look at those things, look at free things to do. A lot of, uh, um, uh, if you've seen some of my videos, a lot of the night markets out there, guys, I mean, so much, so much to do. But anyway, guys, as always, with that being said, <laughs> guys, take care of yourselves. Definitely take care of each other. Live your best life. And most importantly, guys, I don't care what anyone says to you, how much they doubt you, any negativity, think positive, guys, and do you. All right, thanks a lot, guys.